Brazil is a land of breathtaking diversity, but beyond its landscapes, cultures, and traditions lies something even more fascinating, its DNA. A genetic code unlike any other, shaped by centuries of migration, survival, and adaptation. But what exactly makes Brazilian DNA so unique? The answer takes us deep into history, across continents, and even into mysteries that science is only beginning to uncover. Long before European ships reached its shores, Brazil was home to millions of indigenous people. They had lived in the Amazon, the highlands, and along the Atlantic coast for thousands of years, adapting to their surroundings in ways that left permanent imprints on their DNA. But then came the year 1500. The arrival of Portuguese explorers would alter the genetic landscape forever. Colonization was not just a clash of cultures. It was the beginning of a massive, forced genetic mixing that would define Brazil's identity. The Portuguese settlers didn't arrive alone. Over the next three centuries, they brought more than four million enslaved Africans to Brazil, more than any other country in the world. These men, women, and children came from places like Angola, Congo, and Nigeria, carrying with them languages, traditions, and genes that would merge with the indigenous and European bloodlines. Unlike some other colonial societies where racial boundaries were strictly maintained, Brazil developed a complex and layered genetic history, one where identities were neither fixed nor simple. Even more fascinating is what modern genetic studies reveal about this mixing. On average, Brazilians today carry about 68% European, 19% African, and 11% indigenous ancestry. But these numbers shift dramatically depending on where you go. In the South, European ancestry dominates, shaped by waves of German and Italian immigrants in the 19th and 20th centuries. In the Northeast, African heritage is stronger, reflecting the deep history of the transatlantic slave trade. And in the North, indigenous ancestry remains most prevalent, a legacy of native tribes that remained relatively isolated in the vast Amazon rainforest. But there's something even more surprising buried deep in Brazil's DNA something that doesn't quite fit the historical narrative. Scientists studying ancient remains from the Baracudo people of southeastern Brazil found genetic traces from an unexpected place, Polynesia. This raises an astonishing question. Could early Pacific seafarers have reached Brazil long before European explorers? Or did this genetic link arrive much later through the transatlantic slave trade, when people from Madagascar, who also have Polynesian ancestry, were forcibly brought to Brazil? The answer remains a mystery, but one thing is clear. Brazil's genetic story is far more complex than we ever imagined. Even beyond history, this genetic diversity carries real-world consequences today. The DNA Do Brazil project, launched in 2019, is mapping the genomes of thousands of Brazilians to understand how ancestry affects health. Because most medical research has been based on European populations, Many treatments and disease predictions don't work as effectively for mixed-race communities like Brazil's. By unlocking the secrets hidden in Brazilian DNA, scientists hope to develop better treatments for conditions like diabetes, hypertension, and cancer, which disproportionately affect certain groups. But this research is also forcing Brazil to confront an uncomfortable truth. For centuries, the country has promoted the idea of racial democracy a belief that racial mixing created society free of discrimination. However, genetic studies reveal something different. While most Brazilians share a mixed heritage, darker-skinned people still face more economic and social barriers than their lighter-skinned counterparts. Even in the very structure of Brazilian DNA, there's evidence of inequality. While 75% of paternal ancestry is European, only 14% of maternal ancestry is. Instead, 36% of maternal ancestry comes from Africa, and 34% from indigenous peoples. This imbalance tells a brutal story. During colonization, European men fathered children with indigenous and African women, often through violent means. The genetic scars of this past still shape Brazilian society today. Brazilian DNA is not just a scientific curiosity. It is a living record of resilience, conquest, and transformation. It tells the story of people who endured, adapted, and reshaped their identities over centuries. The bloodlines of Portuguese explorers, African warriors, indigenous shamans, 
and immigrant farmers all flow through the veins of modern Brazilians, creating one of the most genetically diverse populations on Earth. And as science continues to uncover the secrets hidden within Brazil's DNA, one thing is certain. This story is far from over. Brazil's genetic landscape is unlike any other in the world. But beyond the numbers and DNA sequences lies a deeper story, one that is still shaping the nation today. This is not just a history lesson. It is a key to understanding modern Brazil, from its social structures to its healthcare challenges. One of the most striking aspects of Brazilian DNA is how it varies by region. In the southern states, where waves of European immigrants arrived in the 19th and 20th centuries, genetic studies show an overwhelming dominance of European ancestry. Cities like Porto Alegre and Curitiba have populations whose DNA closely resembles that of Germans, Italians, and Poles, reflecting the mass migrations that reshaped the region. But in the Northeast, the genetic imprint of Africa is much stronger, a lasting reminder of Brazil's past as the largest hub of the transatlantic slave trade. Here, generations of enslaved Africans labored on sugarcane plantations, and their descendants today carry the genes of their ancestors who endured unimaginable hardship. In contrast, the north of Brazil tells a very different story. The Amazon rainforest, vast and impenetrable for centuries, allowed indigenous communities to preserve a higher percentage of their genetic heritage. Studies show that in cities like Manaus and Belém, Native American ancestry remains significantly more prevalent than in other parts of the country. This regional diversity makes Brazil unique, not just culturally, but genetically. But DNA is more than just a reflection of the past. It has real implications for the present and future. Medical research has long been dominated by data from European populations, meaning that many treatments and genetic risk assessments are not tailored for people with mixed ancestry. The DNA Do Brazil project is working to change that. By sequencing the genomes of thousands of Brazilians, scientists are uncovering how genetic diversity affects disease susceptibility medication effectiveness, and overall health. For example, certain genes inherited from African ancestors provide natural resistance to diseases like malaria, while indigenous DNA carries adaptations suited for tropical climates. But these same genetic traits can also pose new challenges. Some indigenous and African-descended populations have a higher risk of developing diabetes and hypertension due to the way their bodies metabolize certain foods and store fat. Traits that were once survival advantages, but have become liabilities in a modern diet high in processed sugars and salt. The challenge now is turning this knowledge into action. By understanding how genetic diversity affects health, Brazilian scientists hope to create treatments that are tailored to their population, personalized medicine that takes into account the unique genetic makeup of each individual. This research has the potential to revolutionize healthcare, not just in Brazil but worldwide by shifting away from one-size-fits-all treatments toward more precise, effective therapies. But there's another side to this research, one that is forcing Brazil to confront deep-rooted inequalities. The country has long celebrated its mixed heritage, promoting the idea that racial blending created a society free from discrimination. Yet genetic studies reveal that while Brazilians of all backgrounds share a common ancestry, social and economic disparities persist. Lighter-skinned Brazilians, who often have more European ancestry, are statistically more likely to hold higher-paying jobs and have better access to health care and education. Meanwhile, darker-skinned Brazilians, despite carrying the same rich genetic mix, continue to face systemic barriers. This contradiction is built into Brazil's very DNA. The genetic studies that have traced the ancestry of modern Brazilians tell a painful truth. European men overwhelmingly contributed to the paternal lineage, while indigenous and African ancestry is more prominent in the maternal lineage. This pattern reflects the harsh realities of Brazil's colonial past, where European men fathered children with indigenous and African women, often under conditions of exploitation and violence. Even today, this genetic imbalance serves as a reminder of who held power and who suffered under it. Yet, despite these inequalities, Brazil's genetic story is also one of resilience. It is the story of survival against all odds, of cultures merging to create something entirely new. It is a story written in blood, sweat, and endurance, carried in the DNA of every Brazilian today. 
And as genetic science continues to advance, one question remains. How will Brazil use this knowledge? Will it be a tool to bridge social divides and improve healthcare for all? Or will it simply reinforce existing inequalities? The answer will determine not just the future of medicine, but the future of Brazil itself. Brazil's genetic complexity doesn't just tell a story of the past. It holds clues to some of the most intriguing mysteries in human history. Among the most astonishing discoveries is the genetic link between indigenous Brazilians and Polynesians. Scientists analyzing the remains of the ancient Baracudo people in southeastern Brazil found something unexpected. DNA sequences commonly found in Polynesian populations. But how did this genetic connection come to exist? There are two main theories, and both challenge what we think we know about human migration. The first suggests that Polynesian navigators may have reached South America long before European explorers. These ancient seafarers were among the greatest ocean travelers in history, crossing vast distances of the Pacific in wooden canoes. Some scientists believe they may have sailed all the way to the Americas, interacting with indigenous peoples and leaving behind genetic traces that still exist today. If true, this would mean Polynesians accomplished an even greater feat than history has credited them for, reaching an entirely new continent long before the age of European exploration. The second theory offers a different explanation. During the transatlantic slave trade, thousands of enslaved people from Madagascar, a region where Polynesian genetic influence is present, were forcibly brought to Brazil by Portuguese traders. If the Polynesian DNA in Brazil came from this migration, it would mean that the genetic connection was formed not through exploration, but through one of the darkest chapters in human history. The mystery remains unsolved, but one thing is clear. Brazil's genetic diversity continues to challenge traditional narratives. It proves that the country's ancestry is not just a mixture of European, African, and indigenous origins, but also includes unexpected connections that span the globe. But genetic science isn't only about uncovering the past, it's shaping the future. Brazil has become a key player in the global field of genetic research, using its unique DNA diversity to push the boundaries of medical science. The DNA Do Brazil project is helping scientists understand how genetic variation influences health, paving the way for groundbreaking medical treatments. Unlike many Western studies, which primarily focus on European populations, this project ensures that Brazil's mixed heritage population is included in the next wave of scientific advancements. One of the most promising areas of research is precision medicine a revolutionary approach to healthcare that tailors treatments to a person's genetic profile. By analyzing the genetic makeup of individual patients, doctors can predict which medications will work best for them, reducing side effects and increasing effectiveness. This is especially important for Brazil, where traditional one-size-fits-all treatments often fail to address the unique genetic needs of its people. But while this research holds incredible potential, it also raises ethical and social questions. Who will have access to these medical advancements? Will they be available to all Brazilians, or only to the wealthy? How can privacy be protected in an era where genetic data is becoming a valuable commodity? These questions will shape the future of genetic science, not just in Brazil, but around the world. Even beyond medicine, DNA research is transforming how Brazilians see themselves. Many people are taking ancestry tests and discovering unexpected roots, African heritage in families that believed they were mostly European, or indigenous ancestry in those who never knew their native connections. These revelations are challenging long-held assumptions about identity and race, proving that Brazil is far more genetically interconnected than many realize. Yet, despite this shared heritage, the country continues to struggle with racial and social inequalities. The myth of racial democracy, the idea that Brazil's mixed population eliminated racism, has been debunked by both history and genetic studies. While Brazilians of all backgrounds share DNA, opportunities are still unevenly distributed. Lighter-skinned individuals continue to hold more economic and social privilege, while darker-skinned Brazilians face greater barriers in education, employment, and health care. This contradiction is at the heart of Brazil's genetic story. On one hand, DNA research highlights a deep and undeniable connection between all Brazilians. On the other, it exposes the structural inequalities that persist despite this shared ancestry. 
The challenge now is turning this knowledge into change, using genetic science, not just to study history, but to create a fairer future. And as Brazil continues to explore the secrets hidden within its DNA, one thing is certain. The country's genetic story is far from over. In fact, it's only just beginning. Brazil stands at the forefront of a genetic revolution. With cutting-edge research projects like DNA do Brazil, the country is not just uncovering its past. It's shaping the future of medicine, identity, and human evolution itself. Genetic science has already revealed astonishing insights about Brazil's ancestry, but the discoveries are far from over. One of the most groundbreaking advancements in modern genetics is gene therapy, a technique that allows scientists to modify DNA to treat genetic disorders. In the near future, conditions that were once thought to be incurable, like sickle cell disease, cystic fibrosis, or certain types of cancer, could be treated by directly altering the genetic code. This could be life-changing for Brazil, a country with one of the most diverse genetic pools in the world. But with such powerful technology comes responsibility. How will Brazil ensure that these medical breakthroughs are accessible to all, rather than only the privileged few? Another revolutionary field is epigenetics, the study of how environmental factors influence DNA expression. Researchers are discovering that trauma, poverty, and stress can leave lasting genetic marks that are passed down through generations. This means that the effects of colonization, slavery, and social inequality might not just be historical issues. They could be physically embedded in the DNA of modern Brazilians. But the reverse is also true. Positive lifestyle changes, better health care, and improved social conditions could help rewrite the way genes are expressed, offering a new path toward healing and progress. As Brazil continues to push the boundaries of genetic research, the ethical questions grow larger. Who owns genetic data? Should DNA testing be used to determine indigenous ancestry for land rights claims? Could genetic research unintentionally reinforce racial divisions instead of breaking them down? These are the challenges that scientists, policymakers, and society must grapple with as the genetic age unfolds. Yet, despite the complexities, one thing is undeniable. Brazil's DNA is unlike any other. It is a living testament to survival, adaptation, and transformation. It carries the echoes of indigenous tribes who thrived for millennia, the resilience of African ancestors who endured unimaginable hardship, and the ambitions of European and Asian immigrants who reshaped the country's future. It is a genetic fingerprint that tells a story far richer than any history book ever could. And as science continues to decode the secrets hidden within Brazil's DNA, one question remains. What new discoveries still lie ahead? Could the next breakthrough rewrite human history as we know it? Or will it reveal something even more unexpected? Something that challenges everything we think we understand about ancestry, identity, and what it truly means to be Brazilian? One thing is certain. The story is far from over. In fact, it may just be beginning.